why you want to become a nurse? So I have always wanted to be a part of the medical field ever since that I can even remember. My mom said that I've always wanted to be a doctor since I was two years old. But in high school, I was in my senior year and looking at colleges and said, I'm not going to college for 10 years and I do not want to be a doctor. I wanted to do something hands-on. I wanted to make a difference in my patient's life. I want to be by the patient, at their bedside, holding their hand if they need me. And I want to make a difference and I want to make an impact, whether it's one person or five people or a hundred people. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about your the practical nursing program from this last year since you attended and you have graduated? Yeah, so it's a I recommend the program to anybody uh, that's even thinking about being a nurse, whether they don't know what kind of nurse they want to be, whether they want to be an LPN, an RN. Um, the PN program opens a lot of doors for you, but it's also really great for students such as myself. I have a child and I have a husband who works and we can't have both of us working while I'm in the program because somebody's got to take care of our little guy. Right. So it was best for me to go in and just do the one year with no working and then have my doors open to become an RN later on. And I'm really glad I went that route because the instructors were amazing. It was an open door policy and they really followed through on that. It could be 11 o'clock at night and you're having um, some difficulties in a personal life situation or it could be something with school and you really need to talk to somebody right then and there. They gave you their personal cell phones and you guys would answer us anytime. What was your schedule like while you were in the program? I would get up and I'd be at school at eight, by 8.30 in the morning and then you'd get done at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. Some days you get days off. You get your holidays off. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you get out a little early so you get extra time for studying. But as long as you used your time wisely and you managed your time and you are dedicated, it's intense, but it's very much so doable and you can succeed. Why don't you share with um, everyone that's watching this maybe a little bit um, what you liked most about clinical or maybe your favorite area that you visited during the clinical experience? Yeah, so we did clinicals for med surge and pediatrics and then I think we did a little bit of mental health and we got to go on a field trip for mental health as a clinical. We got to go and work in a hospital on a med surge floor and then we've also got to go through like home health and we got to experience a sim lab of labor and delivery. So it was really good experience and it was really good hands-on preparation for whenever we graduate and get outside into the real world. But my personal favorite was to work at the hospital on the med search floor because that was my dream job. And you got one-on-one -on -one experience with patients and you were doing all the work. It was like you were already out there doing your job and it was a good experience because you were working under the supervision of your instructor. So if you had questions about anything, they were right by your side helping you 24-7. Yeah, a lot of our students are heavily dependent on financial aid, and I know that I would be too if I were in that, that situation. It's hard not to work when you're going to school full-time. Yeah, so I was really dependent on the Pell Grant for FAFSA. So it's, it's kind of an easy process going online, and you fill out your FAFSA, and you use your or your parents' tax um, paperwork. It's not that hard, but MACC also offers people to help you if you do struggle and have, you know, good. not familiar with the whole process. And then after you fill that out, MACC processes everything. They send you letters in the mail, they email you, and let you know how your status is, what's going on, and it's like you're not even doing any work. You're not doing anything. You just filled out your stuff, you go sign up for classes, and everything's there. It's easy to go online and fill out an application for a student loan, or you can go into the financial aid office and they'll help you with all of the, the application process, which is really easy. It's just like one page. Do you know where you're gonna be working? I am now going to be working at the University Hospital on the internal medicine floor as an LPN. 